Right. Yeah, come on. Sweet night and night. The times never seem so good. I am inclined to tune in just like I should. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Neil. Uh, Pat, you're up first. Oh, let's start the nine at nine. Number nine. This is uh, this is pretty cool. A company that makes cool products of used chopsticks. It's in Canada. Chop okay. Value partners with local restaurants to pick up the used chopsticks. They then soak them in resin and bake them at a high temperature to completely sanitize the wood. All right. Then they're all compressed together to form a tile that they can make all sorts of products out of. Cutting yeah. boards, shelves, standing desks, wow. countertops, pretty much, yeah. pretty much anything you'd normally use wood for, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, look at that. Seems like a lot of work going around yeah. picking those up, though. That's, yeah. you gotta gather up a whole bunch of those. But Ooh. I'm sure someone's got time on that. You have day. to have a commitment. Yeah, you're right. That's how you win. Uh, number eight, uh, we're done with the baby faces on macaroons. Oh. Uh, but how about some uh, faces on pies? Oh. That's what pretty good there, yeah. Up. A horror artist named uh, Ashley Newman made these. Uh, she's on the old Instagram at it came from under my bed. Oh. <laughs> what a great, <laughs> yeah. that's her handle. Yeah. These faces have a variety of expressions. Oh, oh yeah. Baked right into the, oh. yeah. Well, you can nice. check her out on the old Instagram. <laughs> wow. You see, she has all sorts of stuff there. And look her, uh, Boy, also check out her Etsy page. Detail, huh? Yeah, look at that, right? That's called caring. Well, <laughs> one mm. word for it. Hmm. All right, number seven, if you're looking at, or uh, you are looking at some renderings of Orbital Assembly's Voyager Space Station. Wow. It's one of the latest space hotels. The hotel will be shaped like a Ferris wheel to simulate gravity in its pods. But rooms will be similar to the ones you find here on Earth. There would be a gourmet restaurant there, a bar, a gym, an entertainment center. This is the future here, huh? Construction is set to begin in 2026. Oh, it yeah. is supposed to be open to visitors in 2027. Oh, wow. all right. It'll cost around $5 million for a three and a half day stay. Oh, okay. Yeah, then what are you going to do when you get up there? You're just <laughs> That's gonna sit, right. You can't go outside, you die. Right. You right stay in a regular hotel wheel. and just paint the windows to look like <laughs> space. Thank you. Right? With the four of us, this might be our idea. We sell people yeah. on the idea we're taking them to space, but really, <laughs> we just right. buy some old CTA right. bus and yeah. doctor it up and get some yeah. people to dress up like yeah. Martians. I mean, and... Or you go to the Rainbow Motel, they got a space themed right. room yeah. that you can go we, in. That's right. one of our first stops right. yes. once we're on the bus. And we charge them four million. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bargain. For four days. Right. All right, uh, write that down. That Don't, ideas. Nobody steal that one either. <laughs> Number six, it's not for everyone, but someone's going to love Jimmy Fallon's house. It's a penthouse in Manhattan with all sorts of quirky details. We'll let the pictures do the talking. It's $15 million. $15 million. Is it on the market or that's just Yes, value? it is on the market. Is. Did I miss that part? It's... A lot of clutter there. A lot of clutter. Well, when you have little kids, but it doesn't have yeah. to be in every part it's of the house. That's, that's a lot of clutter there. You yeah. Know? Well, he's a quirky fella. Yeah. yeah. I got to say, yeah. if you got $15 million, isn't there a point where you're like, all right, I'm not working anymore. I'm not sitting around trying to think of funny jokes and stuff. <laughs> he does it for the love Maybe, of the craft. I guess so. I'm guessing. Huh. All right. Number five, people are divided about this renovated apartment in the Jamaica Plain neighborhood of Boston. Oh yeah. It's expensive, it's on the market for $900,000. But the main issue here is the design. It has an open concept bathroom. Oh. Yeah. Oh, geez. There are no walls. What? <laughs> or doors <laughs> yeah. separating the bedroom from the toilet. No huh. thanks. There's just a vertical rectangle of frosted glass. Oh, that should be enough, you need a fan. Separating the throne and the shower from the rest of the oh. room. Real estate guy says the majority of potential buyers were having a hard time really trying to visualize right. themselves living in that space. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can, it's not that hard to put up two walls either. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's not like you're putting an addition on the house. Right. Or, right. 
Complicated yeah. when your mother-in-law comes over for a few days. <laughs> I will say that could be one of the downsides. Yeah. Uh, all right, number four, sea slugs are amazing. Researchers discovered that two species of Japanese sea slugs can regrow hearts and entirely new bodies even after removing their own heads. Wow. What? Yeah. According to the study, the severed head continue to move even after separation. Within days, they would close up and the head continued feeding on algae. Wow. Within a week, a new heart was regenerated and within three weeks, a whole new body appeared. What? It is believed that the slugs have stem cell-like or stem-like cells in their neck Ugh. and that they're capable of regenerating the body. Mm. The discovery could eventually help scientists understand the regeneration of human tissue. Ooh. They're yeah, beautiful. That's Look at right the there. adorable eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. All right, number three, live, laugh, love. You've probably seen this stuff everywhere, especially if you shop at places like TJ Maxx or Home Oh, Home I Goods. hate this crap. But they, what, they print out nice messages for you to hang on your wall. Oh, yeah, I'm this with you, is Larry. the Ray Dunn collection of ceramic mugs and home decor items, and it turns out people are crazy about this stuff. There's yeah, a whole yeah. community out there known as the Ray Dunn women. One person claims her addiction to buying these pieces cost her $15,000 in six wow. months and actually destroyed her marriage. Yeah. People make an entire living just buying up all the pieces and reselling oh. them on the internet. Be Puns. Look at that. Be present. <laughs> Since demand is high, people are willing to pay double for some pieces, and there are lots of tutorials out there and TikTok videos show you how to scoop up all the uh, Ray Dunn products. Cool mom. Mm -hmm. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 You, you know, get that Chip and down. Joanna putting these in all those two monsters need to be stopped. And don't you find a lot of pressure? Everyone's got these messages in your kitchen and their kitchen now. Family, hearth, we're oh, the yeah. coolest, you know, oh, like yeah. everything's got a message right. like yeah. this is where our heart How about is. How one that I'm just like... says we're average? How about that? <laughs> That's right. You're shoving. 95% of the houses putting these up. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, my kids for Father's Day got me a, a coffee mug that says number one dad. And then I saw it at a friend's house. He right. had one too. <laughs> yeah. you know, what did they, they make, like 100 of these? Yeah. Right. yeah. That's just it's from a different year. <laughs> <laughs> You're number one dad this year. Uh, that's an old that's an old I see, I yeah. understand that. That's an old cup. Okay. Congratulations, though, Larry. That's, <laughs> yes. that's great of you. It was a good year for me. It's been <laughs> kind of downhill yeah. since then. <laughs> number two, here's a video that has been colorized. Uh, we don't know the location, but it's a snowball fight from 1897. Wow. Snow, snow, snow. snow. Wow. Is that Teddy Roosevelt? <laughs> Everybody looked like Teddy yeah. Roosevelt in 1897. We really believe this? Yeah, no, I've seen this. Yeah, I've seen this too. This oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. guy's just delivering papers, gets taken out by a mob. Wow. Now, if we see an Oldsmobile pull down there, the right. street will yeah. know it's a fake. Look at this. Look at that. A guy in an electric scooter. Well, no, isn't that no. refreshing to Whimsy. see? Whimsy. Well, they're letting all hang out also. No one's telling them to not, you know, right. do it. Have fun. This is the just a bunch oh, of yeah. poor stranger going down the road. <laughs> <laughs> These people would all be in jail today. Yeah. What's great about this is when you just think about that age from most of the film that you usually see, you picture just life being black and white and people walking around moving really fast. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You don't expect whimsy. Yeah. No, you, you don't know. expect so a lot real. of grown adults just having a snowball fight in the middle of the day yeah. either. Right. You wonder well, why they were so technologically backwards back then. They weren't doing anything. Well, right. they're were, they were all going to die by 48, so <laughs> <laughs> you got to live it up while you can. Man. Ah, that was cool. Number one, here's something uh, fun. How did he make the phone call to order the food in the first place? <laughs> right. Was that, it was a dog head though, right? Was it? 
I could not. Was it a dog or? Hold it's on. kind of hard to see. Let's see this again. This is it is a monkey. The song's monkey. That's a monkey. It's a funny head? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a strange looking yeah. monkey though, it's like right? A dog. Look how friendly he is. Uh, great jeans. Oh, come he's wearing a varsity <laughs> jacket too. Come on. I need some come context on. on that. What the? And how what you, kind of pizza did he yeah. order? <laughs> yeah, how do you make varsity as a monkey? I can see <laughs> JB, uh, but that's yeah. probably the biggest <laughs> thing there also. Wow, that was. I'm suspicious. Uh, well. That was weird. That was. There's no uh, information on that. Nine. No, if, if you watched our show, right. we'll have some more information by tomorrow, Paul. <laughs> I gotta if head over to the zoo, see if I can get 